I would describe the uh, Gulf states as partners of the United Kingdom. We're currently negotiating a trade deal with the GCC. Now, is every country that we work with uh, exactly in line with United Kingdom policy on everything? No, they're not, but they are important allies of the United Kingdom. Hang on, Mohammed bin Salman, um, responsible for the murder of Jamal Khashoggi, no? Yeah? I, what I would say is that Saudi Arabia is, responsible? is an important partner of the United Kingdom. 81 executions all on one day in Saudi Arabia. And you, you don't think that that's an authoritarian regime? What I'm focused on is making sure that we are dealing with the major threats to the world. The number one threat we're dealing with at the moment is the threat from Russia. In order to do that, we need to make sure that we have alternative energy sources. And one of the key sources of energy is the Gulf region. In the Gulf um, trade document that you just published, you say the government will continue to hold those who violate human rights to account. How are you doing that in the Gulf states at the moment? Well, these issues are raised regularly with the relevant ministers and leaders who we meet in the Gulf states. You and have what personally? Our aim, I have personally, yes. Well, your spokesman said that you hadn't. So what was, what's the last human rights issue that you raised with a Gulf state leader? I'd, I'd have to come back to the committee on the precise timing of that. But well, I anything. Have Just tell us it. anything that you said well, on I human rights. Well, I certainly have raised it when I was in... Go on, uh, tell us I'm one I'm just now. trying to remember my most recent visit, but I can assure you I have raised it, and I will write to you with the details.